All right, hey guys, here we are taking a look at this third hole. You can see we got a tailwind here, which is, which is going to entice players to probably go for this launch shot. Otherwise, you know, you may want to try to slip it down along here. But this will get interesting just to see how doable this shot is. I'm assuming you can see we actually got kind of the lower end of this wind and the options that you can do. Now the disadvantages to do it the way that my opponent is here, you can see using this, uh, you know, that second shot's just going to get far too hard with uh, a less resistant ball. What is that? Uh, well, no, those are still um, wind resistant three, aren't they? So you'll see barely able to uh, potentially get it up there. So with that being said, you know, you really got to think about what you want to do. I'm thinking maybe somewhere around, um, you know, Titan, Titan snowball type. Um, you know, I may just be able to slip a Kingmaker. So um, with that being said, you know, you may even want to go Royal just for that little bit of extra that we may or may not need. And I'm going to try to keep off the curl a little bit. I don't think I'll really need it, but let's just see how this looks to see if I can try to keep this wind resistance up and just slide this up here into this fairway. And sure enough, there you can see I was able to. Now, one of the things you'll be able to, you know, be fortunate enough is if you do hit this rough, I would have still imagine with this tailwind that we have here, we could try to do some kind of um, hop off this rough and probably still get it to just roll up there to the green. So that is the good thing, that if you don't get it to slide up into the fairway, that you may be still okay there um, because of the tailwind. So so there you can see kind of the approach my opponent took. Um, you know, I'm even half tempted to just take a look at what this rough looks like here. You can see we're kind of close to max. Now, if you are going to go with a bump here, do keep in mind the elevation drop off. It may change the way that you need to play this a little bit. So you'll see, first off, you know, I'm keeping the ball guide a little bit through the hole. Um, I do expect, you know, moving to this lower elevation the ball to maybe not carry up to this exact height. So there's 10 rings. Let's go thinking almost 13 here. It's a 12 and a half. Let's just see what this looks like. Ah, called a great ball. And you can see it's just shooting up here. It's going to shoot to the right. But, um, you know, as I mentioned, you know, I kept the guide through because I do expect it to land, you know, maybe half a ring short because of that elevation drop off. So the biggest thing is going to be to get that ring play down to where you have, you know, kind of a feel. Keep in mind, you know, if you're starting at plus five versus plus 11, it's going to be a different amount of ring play that you're going to need to do. And you'll just need to increase as you get more towards that max number. So if you don't get it to the same spot every time, make sure that you're just kind of slightly changing and you'll need to get, you know, a perfect ball or two to kind of get dialed in to see exactly how many rings it is to go on a certain place. So, you know, for that 11.4-ish or whatever, I went about 12.5. And we could just see, you know, with getting a perfect ball, you know, how much that's going to be, and then make minor tweaks based off of what we see once we get that perfect ball. So good luck there, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one.